What's going on guys, Sim the Gamer here with another episode of Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, we got here to Spike Muth and defeated Piers to get our Dark Badge. And uh, we actually didn't change any of our team, but we are all set to go back towards Route 9 into Hammerlock to get our final badge into a, yeah, start our road to becoming the champion. We'll see exactly what we're dealing with over here. Hopefully it's not too much. And we have some tunnel stuff. Okay. What's with all this crazy shaking? Leon? Why is there a Dynamax Pokemon here? What is that red light? Can we go around these guys? There we go. And we have Hop here. Stone. This is mad. You know what I mean? Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know. That noise. It was like some massive explosion. There was still a... There, there was this huge surge of red light. And then bald Pokemon just started Dynamaxing out of, around me. Brazen as you like. Alright, take a look at the news. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? He took down a, uh... Berserker. It was berserking. Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, huh? Let's go meet with him, Stone. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. And there we go, just like that. Hey, welcome to the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button if you haven't already. Good afternoon. What's up, what's up? Yeah, let's get back there as soon as we can. Uh, let's just... I want, I, I want to finish. I want to finish this today. I really do. Move on. I want to start knocking out some of these older games, even though we just start playing this, but this is really fast. Alright, and we're back in Hammerlock. Make our way to the gym. Excuse me, somehow we got caught in like the worst corner ever. There we go. Alright, another scene. Over here! As if we have a choice. Well, if it isn't Stone. I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon. You took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion, after all. But what all is going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's going on. That red light could suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. We have Professor Magnolia. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wants to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things, too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? There must be. There has to be. We're the hero, after all. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion, after all, huh? Grand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. And they run off. And we're here to challenge the gym. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. And he runs off as well. I know what I need to do alright. Swing my hands over and over again until victory is assured. Defeat that peers once and for all. You're off the Hammerlock Stadium, yeah? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. And he's off the spike move. So it looks like he's still behind us a little bit, but he's catching up. He'll be ready. Hey, this is the final gym. Alright, we have a bunch of guys here. Raihan just used Song. Does anyone stand a chance? Hey, Stone shows what you can do. Level ball's perfect, so we already got the one Pokeball we can get from him. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in. And uh, we're going to throw Grimmsnarl out front, as he's our only fairy type here. 
Granted, dragons are so weird that they usually or a second they usually have a seven type uh, second typing we can take advantage of. But let's do it. And we have to change because for some reason we just never change as soon as we enter the gym. That form, uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination now. Head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. What? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see. How many gym challenges are left? Huh. Not even ten, huh? All right then. Stone, time to explain the great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you gotta do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challenges who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations of you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Alright, some double battles. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be dealing with dragon types, but also going to be dealing with a lot of weather effects. Especially here. So, we have Gym Trainer Sebastian. With a Pelipper and Sligaloo. Okay. Luckily enough, we have them completely covered here. This could not be a better first two. Like, this is ridiculous. So, we are going to play rough with the Slig Goo. And we are going to Thunderbolt the Pelipper. We should have two one hits here. I'd be surprised if we don't. There we go. Might make quick work of these guys. We get 1,845 experience. You know his level 50. Let's learn fly. There's no reason to learn fly. We're good. We're good without fly. And he's going to increase their speed, so we may be at a speed disadvantage for the rest of the battle. But it won't save him from the Thunderbolt. There we go. And we get 1,798 experience. Grimmsnarl has level 52. Sumpex has 52 as well. We did give Sumpex Icy Wind just for the Dragon types. To have that covered since we had a slot open. Doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. And we get 4,320 Poké Dollars for winning. Let's, let's keep it going. I want that badge. All right, I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Stupid phone. Let's, let's get rid of the distractions. Oh my god. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camilla. All right. Oh, we actually have time to heal, which is... I didn't expect we'd get that. Okay then, yeah. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your Pokemon, each of your opponent's Pokemon play. And your own. Just to make what I said still relevant. Bring it on. We get nine tails and a Turtonator. Okay. So what we are going to do here is we're going to use. Interesting. Wonder why Play Rough is not very effective on fire. Fairy on fire. That's weird. I don't think I ever noticed that. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna run Play Rough on Turtonator since he is dragon type, and we are going to escape with a Nell here and bring out some pecs. Honestly, we can bring out Lycan Rock too. Let's bring out Lycan Rock. Oh wow, he's gonna use Cell Trap. 
that's very, very scary. We're definitely going to hit that trap. <laughs> a little upsetting, but uh, we might lose Grimmsnarl here. It's a very heavy attack. We didn't even take him out. He gets both of us, too. Wow. Lycanroc gets burned. And, yeah, we're going to... Uh... We're just going to have to run that back, I guess. And let's run Rock Slide as well, since that will hit both of them. He's going to run another Shell Trap, of course. Lycan Rock should go next. Take Turtonator out. Well, we still take damage from the Rock Slide, though. I mean, from the, the Shell Trap. Doesn't look like we will. We had 1,938 experience here. Lycan Rock hit level 51 with 2,000. Cinderace is at level 52 as well. And we're going to get Will of the Wisp, so we're burned again. Well, yeah, we, I mean, we have not covered. We're good to go. It's worth that, that that's not very effective. Um, he's definitely just fire, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's hit him with a Darkest Lariat. And another Rock Slide. That should do it. I suppose it wouldn't be challenging if it was the if it was the final gym and it wasn't challenging. That'd be a little rough. And we get 2019 experience in the win over Cami, Camilla. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. And we get 4,320 Pokey dollars for winning. And let's go. We got one more. One more than Raihan. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have were well earned. Absolutely. You made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. Okay. And let's use some of the burn heals we've gotten way back when the game started. We actually bought ten and we found two and we haven't been burned all game. Literally all game, until now. So let's use our super potion here. Get us to 144, just enough. But yeah, bring it on. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of the two Pokemon to push through? Or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Our strategy is just uh, being stronger than you in general. We have too many Pokemon. You can't beat both our Pokemon. You can't beat all of our six of our Pokemon with just two. It's not impossible. It's not possible. Definitely just not possible. Um, let's see here. Oh, some snowboarding. Okay. And we are going to use Play Rough on Hakamo. And we're going to come with a Bug Buzz for a Bomb of Snow. We may be able to pull a two for here. Do we have the speed? Do we have the speed to pull it off? A Bomb of Snow is probably faster than Vickavolt. Vickavolt's usually pretty slow. We do get 1,677 experience. We are faster. Can you take it? He's not going to be able to take that. Yeah. Nice. Alright, and we get 1,972 experience. And that's a game. Bring on Raihan. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. That's true. We have 4,320 Poke Dollars for winning. And, uh, yeah, let's face Raihan and get that Dragon Badge. Well done. I am honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Stone. You've completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Real question is, why do we... I guess there's nowhere else to really battle instead of, you know, just battling in the vault, but I, I don't know. Weird. Very weird. And let's see here. Let's start off with, just to have that ice move out there. You know what? Let's throw out Petunia first. Just to see what we're dealing with, because we really don't know. Yeah, that's, that's fine with me. 
Let's do that. Alright. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Guess I... But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather, he also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Why is he talking in, in third person? What's wrong with my... He, he has kind of a dummy look on his face right there. It was really weird. He needs to get off his phone. And we have Gym Leader Raihan. Let's go. With a Giga Lift and a Flygon. Alright, we're a Dynamax. Okay. Let the winds blow. Stream forward Sandstorm. And... Let's run Play Rough on Flygon, and let's run... Oh, okay. Thought we'd be good to go on Gigalith here, but let's run Energy Ball on Gigalith. Breaking Swipe. Doesn't affect Grimmsnarl. Tunia gets hit. If I knew that was coming, it would have ran some Giga Drain. Oh, so close. Give me a break. How about you? There we go. Alright, we're going to be buffed by the Sandstorm. We get 3,261 experience. Grimmsnarl hits 53, Petunia hits 50, and now hits 51. And we have a Stealth Rock, too, so switching out is going to be a problem. You know, maybe we won't have to. We'll see. Alright, we have a Sanaconda. Awesome. That's good. That's good news. Okay, so we're going to run Brick Break on the Gigalith, and we're going to Giga Drain the Sanaconda just to get that health back. And the only person... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, the only Pokemon that might outspeed us is the Sanaconda, so I mean, we're good. We might get through this completely unscathed besides the weather effects. Alright, well we have 2,092 experience. Lycanroc is just about there. Awesome. Okay, we have 3,016 experience. Lycanroc hits 52, Sumpex hits 53. And yeah, we're going to take some damage from the Sandstorm. It's rough that he has those uh, the Stealth Rock out there. It might be impossible to pull off a combo going solo, but it's not possible for me to still win. And he throws out his Darulodon. Very, very dangerous. Decent typing. We need to get a ground Pokemon out here. Um, well, because the steel can hurt us. Now, I don't believe that Play Rough will do a lot of damage. I know Brick Break will. I really don't want to switch because it just sounds like a pain, so we're not going to. I really wonder if a non-stab Max Knuckle will do a lot. Um, let's also go with, I guess, an Energy Ball. This is not going to do a lot. We're going we're to switch him out because that's just terrible. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. He's going to have to take the damage. And yeah, the stones are going to dig in. So much. Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. That's no good. <laughs> the selfie is awesome. And probably one of my favorite Gigantamaxes is the Rolodon, Don. So he looks like a skyscraper. So cool. Alright, but what are we dealing with? 
Will this? We should just waited. We could have waited a turn. We would have to eat. We'd have to eat an attack, but perhaps it would have been worth it. And we should go first. Oh, he's faster. Okay, we're gonna hit him with Max Rockfall. Hopefully not one Cinderace, because that would be... Yeah, he's done. It's rough. We should have waited. We should have waited until we were forced to throw him in. Okay, that did about ex what I expected, though. So we have a, like a little Pokemon Meat Shield right there for him. Still taking damage from the weather. Let's throw out. Hmm. Yeah, let's throw out some packs just to finish it off. We could, we'll, we'd be able to eat a Mac Rock Fall, I think. I think it's quad resistance. And yeah, let's throw another Max Knuckle. And uh, let's follow that up with an Earthquake. Ooh, for faster, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, whatever. For the victory. <laughs> He's coming with the steel spike. This might hurt a lot. Yeah, we can survive it though. There we go. We have all eight gym badges, guys. We get 2,400 experience. Grimmsnarl has level 54. Awesome. We're all set. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. <laughs> he had 7,680 Poké Dollars for winning. He doesn't even seem to mind to lose too much. It barely happens, I'm sure. He's all smiles. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I'd grow to quick, uh, quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. And there we go. Alright, and we're done. We got it. We can now catch any Pokemon. We got all the gym badges. Now win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we want that we want that gym we want that gym badge. You collected all the gym badges. At last it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey Stone. Sorry to hold you up here, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. Okay. Okay, nice little dragon move. And secondly, here's a gym type. Oh yeah, we get the uniform as well. Number 12, Challenger Stone. You complete the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here just to see how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out tons of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you, Stone, and even Lee. And he's, you know, he's Hop, so he's excited. He's hopping around. I'll be seeing you, Stone. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Um, I think we're fine on the wild area. Come on now. Come on now. We're going to be the champ. We don't need to go to the wild area. Hey there, Stone. You gave Raihan a good thrashing, and that means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemons today using the energy from Wishing Stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. 
In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. And apparently, having the coat just makes us awesome. Professor Sonia! Y yeah! The two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. In the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned, it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You, you or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting the wind in. Now go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. Alright. Yes, we did it. We are incredible. Let's heal up. Excellent. We hope to see you again. We're going to call it here for a quick break. There we go. Kind of. There we are. Alright guys, it's episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Also, if you're watching this on Twitch, hit that follow button and then go over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and join the squad to get notifications for when we drop videos. Comment down below if there's any Pokemon you'd like me to use, or if there's any games you'd like me to play. And share on all social media platforms. In the next episode, we are going to go head to Winden. But until then, this is Stone the Gamer signing off. Hope everyone has a great rest of the day. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.